new information that's come out recently. It's super exciting. Oh, it's going to cover the upper lip area. Also some information. Oh gosh, castor oil is just not dying. I am making some coffee and doing my red light therapy. I always do that in the morning while I'm making coffee. If I'm doing it in a morning routine, I don't know. It just works really well. It's about the 10 minutes that I sit and relax, drink my coffee, kind of get ready for my day. But today I am trying the new Piranha Mask and there's no mouth opening. But this is key because it's going to cover the upper lip area, which we've talked about before is a huge, huge bugbear. And why don't LED masks cover that area? You know, you'd have to use a panel to get your whole face. But this also gets the sides of your face. I've been talking with you guys like, how do you get the sides of your face if you're using a panel? Another subject, but the Prana Mask covers your lip and it gets the sides of your face and you get options. So when you turn it on, right, when you turn it on, you hear the beep. And here, let me move that out of the way. It does light up. But you get to choose some options. So you get to choose your time. And you get, or is that mode? Sorry, you get to choose your mode. You get red and blue. So that would be good for like acne or if you're having a rosacea flare and it kind of comes out magenta. You can choose red only for those of you who have melasma and you're concerned about using near infrared. There's also, you see a little P there. Well, that's for pulse light. So totally new, not exactly new in LED red light therapy, but pulse light is new in masks and panels at least in my experience. If you guys know of one that's been around for years, share that with me. But anyway, pulse light is supposed to help flicker on and off so that the cells expand and contract and can theoretically absorb the skincare that you're using more easily or more readily. So it's totally cool. And it's the only mask that I know of that has pulse light. So you could, and that's optional. You don't have to have it on. So I'm going to do, and then the last button is time, how long you want to do a session. I'm going to choose, you can do one minute, three minutes, six minutes, and nine minutes. And I'm setting it up for nine minutes. So I will be using this for, I'm gonna try a 60 day trial and then report back in. So I took a few before photos before I took this video. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Their green robust tea is now in a mist, which is so much easier because your mask, let me just turn this off for a second. It doesn't transfer to the mask. So sometimes the serum would transfer to the mask and discolor it. Not the biggest deal in the world, you just wipe it down. But the mist is lighter for those of you who don't want a serum texture. And I already applied mine. I let it sit for a little while before I put my mask on, but it dries so quickly compared to the serum. It takes a little bit of time to dry down. But why you ask green tea in the first place? So the green robos tea extract has been shown to enhance the effectiveness of your LED red light therapy. My Sama actually has studies where they have done this and it actually shows benefits. So super cool. I will link that study. You can go check it out. I was blown away. It either doubles or triples. It's been a while since I read the study, but it doubles or triples the effectiveness of your LED red light therapy. So just a few spritz of this. This is their lighter formula. Now I've already applied it. So I'll apply it somewhere else, but I've already applied it um, to my face. I let it dry down, but it takes seconds to dry down compared to the serum and it doesn't transfer to the mask itself. So super cool, starting on this journey, like I said, I'd probably do a 60 day trial, check in with you guys, show a few before and afters, see how we're getting along, especially in the upper lip area. And yeah, so this is super exciting, kind of an updated LED red light therapy option for those of you who are looking for a little bit more in their red light therapy mask, some options, the pulse light, just some more anti-aging benefits and a new spritz that we can use for our green robust tea. So my mask is done, it's attached to my headband, and nine minutes always seems like more than it is, I don't know, I just get ants. So now my reward is getting my coffee, and oh, I wanted to tell you, I, you cannot notice the pulse light in this mask, like you don't see it flickering, so if that would bother you, or you're worried that that would bother you in the mask, it just doesn't, and you can already see my redness is, is diminished, still have a little bit on my chin. But you do not see the flickering or the pulsed sensation in the mask. Now, in the panel, you do. Even with the eye covers, I can still see it. So if you suffer from migraines or anything neurological, and that just reminds me, anytime you use a skincare device, you need to check with your medical provider and you need to be conscious of your own medical conditions. 
um, I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you if this is going to be okay with any kind of medical condition that you have. So just as a quick caveat, but my face feels amazing. I'm ready to do the rest of my skincare. I don't feel like I have to wash off the serum. Sometimes I would towel off the Mysama serum in the past just because it had that tint to it. The spritz does not have that tint at all. So super easy, such a great upgrade, both on the mask and the Robo Serum. Super excited to give this a 60 day try and off for my coffee, well-deserved coffee. And I am also gonna do my skincare with you. As I was walking up here, I passed my desk and found a box from my Sama. I think my husband must have brought it in from the mail and I'm pretty sure I know what's in here because they have a new launch and it's supposed to solve some problems that they were having, some people were having with the My Sama Serum. So this is their Serum Light, I'm 99% sure. So the original Serum by My Sama is kind of a dark tea colored serum. And if you're someone who has a really light skin like me, it does leave a tint for sure. And that's why I was so excited to try the mist. But the mist does not have as much of the Green Robust Tea as the serum does. And the serum was the one that was done, they used in their study. So they created a lighter formula without aloe because some people were having some, I guess there were some people with aloe allergies. And I just didn't like it because it was so dark. So it's going to be, it's called Serum Green Robust Light. So I'm totally excited to see what the color difference is. Let's see. Oh, it's very runny. <laughs> it is very runny. Okay, surprise. It is very thin. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my hand. It's definitely more of a serum. Can you see that? Definitely more of a serum and super light. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand because of course I'm already done with my red light therapy. Just gonna towel this off. You can see the difference. And we'll put just a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I'm gonna be covered in green tea today. Oh, whoops, I picked up the wrong one. Clearly I'm almost out of the regular serum, so this came just in time. Okay, so you can see how light that is and how it blends into my skin. No need to towel off. That way you have an antioxidant layer of protection when you're done with your LED red light therapy and just move on with the rest of your skincare routine. Now, if you happen to be watching this video between November 1st, 2024 and December 3rd, 2024, my summit is starting their Black Friday really early this year. November 1, you can get 28% off their site. So everything I'm sharing with you, the serums and their LEDs are all 28% off with my code Cindy10. It stacks on top of the current sale. I also wanna to touch base just really quickly. Bev at MySama has been doing some videos sharing new information that's come out recently regarding the use of LED red light, LED near infrared light, if you have melasma. If you don't have any medical skincare concerns and you've spoken to your medical provider and you're cleared to use red light or near infrared light, that combination has been what's clinically been shown to improve brightness and improve lines and wrinkles over time. But if you do have any skin condition, including melasma, I say talk to your doctor first. There are some recommendations that are coming out that if you have melasma or some type of skin pigment condition that you should look at the Fitzpatrick scale. The Fitzpatrick scale is basically defining your skin tone all the way from a one to a darker skin tone, which is a six, and I lie about around a two. So if you happen to have a skin condition that causes pigment, they're saying that, or preliminary research is saying that you should stick to red light if you're fair and near infrared light if you're on the darker skin tone. But it is very preliminary, and I, as a layperson, can't make a recommendation one way or the other. So I just wanted to bring that up because it is a topic that a lot of people have questions about. And I have to touch really quickly on the hot topic of castor oil and red light. Apparently, there is some evidence that combining the two is beneficial. I'm gonna leave Bev's article down below for you to investigate. I need to do a little bit more investigation about it. I'm not sure I'd want oil on my skin and then a mask on my skin, but that's just me and I might change my mind once I look more into it. So just wanted to make sure that we're up on all the new LED red light therapy topics. And now I'm gonna move on to my skincare. All right, so I'm first going to put a little bit of toner on my skin. 
it's dry this time of year. And I've been using the Laneige Cream Toner. And then I'm going to do, just to dampen my skin a little bit before I do my zip. Now I'm not doing a full zip routine this morning. I'm just going to do the lip routine. So I just kind of feel like the red light was enough for me this morning and I'm going to do a lip, a zip routine this evening. I'm going to do the founder's favorite, which is nano current only. So I'm just going to do the lip routine this morning, get a little bit of plumpness to my lips. done and I'm just going to towel it off just a little bit. I could leave it on but I just towel it off because it's a little, little too much stickiness for me personally and you know as I was doing my zip routine I looked down on my counter and I have the Mysama brightening mask. If you have melasma check out this mask because if you might not be able to use LED you can still get some lightening and brightening. This has tranexamic acid and niacinamide plus the green robos and it is a really nice brightening mask. So it's just another option for those of you who aren't able to use LED red light therapy or near infrared light therapy. So I just wanted to mention that as I noticed it here on my counter. Now I'm moving on to my vitamin C and pretty exciting. I get to open a new dermatology vitamin C. I finished up my timeless which was great and I'm ready to move on to, or back to one of my absolute favorites. Dermatology is having one of their sales come up really soon. I'm not 100% sure of the dates, but I will definitely be doing a video on Dermatology for you. It's one of my favorite mature skincare brands, as you guys know. All right, so I'm cracking into this. Oh, okay. A few drops of vitamin C. And I just pat it into my skin, neck, and decollete. Excuse me if I bump the mic. I use a mic here in the bathroom because the sound is so poor in here. It just gets really echoey. Okay, so vitamin C done. And now I'm on to a new topical serum that I'm trying by One Skin. I introduced it in my video a few months ago on my new, new skincare finds. And this is One Skin. It has their OS1 peptide. OS01 proprietary peptide, which is supposed to help with senescent cells. And I guess the cells that are dying and the ones that are adjacent, it's supposed to protect them in some way. There's some really amazing science around it. It takes me about three pumps. And I've been trying it for, I think this is my fifth week. I'm maybe heading into my sixth week. Tuck this up. And it looks the thing that you have to know about this, number one, it's frightfully expensive. So if I have a discount, I know I have a discount, but if I have a super discount or if there are any sales, you can always check down below in the description or in my pinned comment. That's where I leave all the information about my discount codes and my sales and everything that I'm talking about in this video. So the one thing that, okay, I lost my train of thought. Oh, when to apply this. Okay. So I was applying it wrong when I first started. Sorry, more alarms busy morning. I was applying this wrong when I first started using it. I was using it as a moisturizer. You need to think of this more as a serum step, step or a treatment step. It's just a little bit thicker. So, you, you know, use all your watery serums first, then use this serum. But right after your watery serums or your toners or your essences, this should go on. So think of this as a serum because they want it as close to the skin and not sitting um, on top of a moisturizer or under too many, over too many inclusive products. They want it really into your skin so it can absorb. So I learned a lot about this about a week ago on a little chat that I went to regarding the OS1 peptide. They also have an eye cream that I'm trying out. So I put away my dermatology eye cream that I love and I'm using this one. Let me show you. And these have been lasting, this, I'm in it five weeks and they feel like maybe they're two thirds done. And I'm being slightly generous and this is obviously overlapping a bit on my crow's feet. All right, I'm just going to turn off this phone. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. And those, all those things I need to do can wait. All right, tapping this in. I am doing kind of a second dose of the one skin around my temple area, but seriously, my, uh, the little lines around my eyes could use it. So this is a little bit more concentrated than the uh, face facial topical serum. So that is two thirds of the way done on a trial. I'm going to show you some before and afters and fingers crossed we see a difference. 
But the biggest thing I'm interested in is their body product. I've been using it on my forearms and on my knees, which are definitely crepey and have kind of the thinnest skin and the skin that troubles me the most on my body. So I've been using that and I saw a video was Jenna Pamper, Pampered Wolf. Her mom used it on her body and had some amazing before and afters. So it really prompted me to do a before and after on my crepier areas. And I'm really focusing on my forearms and my knee area and slightly above my knee where all that the sliding is happening and my skin looks really crepey. So I'm going to be bringing that to you too. All right. The last step in my skincare routine this morning, that's kind of what I've been doing is a moisturizer. I'm back to my dermatology and they had this huge new tub out, which I'm loving because it's so economical and I love dermatology. That and kind of could do skincare are my two favorite moisturizers. Still, I mean, still, right? I've tried so many, but they are still my two faves. All right, moisturizer done. And now for my sunscreen. My sunscreen today is also gonna be Dermatology. And I love this, it's their combination untinted sunscreen. It goes on white, it does have a bit of a white cast, but don't freak out because it will settle down. And I definitely do my neck and decollete. Whoops, sorry. Even though it's a little bit of a cool day out and I might wear a turtleneck, you never know. So always best to just put it on. Now this will settle in and you will not even know that I have sunscreen on. It's one of my absolute favorite sunscreens. While I'm letting my sunscreen dry down, I'm going to share with you the minimalist makeup routine that I'm gonna do this morning. I'm gonna use the Tula. This is their primer, but it has a slight tint to it and I absolutely love it. My color is Luna. I'm also gonna be using the Ilia Mascara, one of the number one mascaras of 2024 and a new lip gloss that I found at Fenty Beauty. This was gifted to me in PR. It's their cream lip glosses, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to do this little minimalist makeup routine and then move on with the rest of my day. If you're interested in LED red light therapy, this is the brand to buy. They have all the options, the pulse light, the red light, the near infrared light, the magenta red light, which is red and blue light. So you just get all the options in one brand that's really reliable. They do actually have a chin, neck and deck mask as well. Mysama has been a brand that I've relied on over the last three years. I love their products. They make quality products and they stand behind their products. So if you're looking for an LED mask this season, this is my number one red light therapy mask recommendation. Now I know Dr. Rajani has a new mask. You guys have shared that with me and Current Body just came out with a new mask that has a chin area. So that might be something you wanna look into too. I will leave both of those links down below to those two other options because you kind of have to do shopping around and find the LED mask that's going to work for you or panel that's going to work for you. It's really important to do your homework when you're choosing an LED product. Everyone's gonna have unique needs for their skin and unique lifestyles that will fit one product over another. So I'll leave multiple choices down in the description and in my pinned comment so that you can do your own research before purchasing. These products aren't cheap, so definitely do your homework, do your research, and pick the product that's right for you. Thanks so much for watching and wishing you all a fantastic day.